Hello. In this video, I'll show you how to use Picture Instruments Overlay Effects in Lightroom Classic. Using the plugin, we will adjust the overlays to fit your images perfectly. First, you need to install the overlays like any other preset, using the plus symbol. After that, you'll find them alphabetically in a folder under PI-OV and the name of the installed effects, in this case, Lens Flares. As you are used to when applying presets, you can preview the effects by simply hovering over them, and if you wish, apply them immediately. Be patient. The overlay XMPs contain a lot of information, and therefore load slower than normal presets. So far, so good. But what is the purpose of the plugin? Our overlays are based on Lightroom brushes, and each Lightroom brush template is stretched or compressed to fit the image aspect ratio when applied in Lightroom by default. The plugin automatically adapts the effect to the aspect ratio of your image, so you don't need to have the overlay presets in all conceivable formats, such as 2 to 3, 3 to 2, 4 to 3, 9 to 16, or 1 to 1 in your preset library. For easier horizontal and vertical adaption of the overlays, they are all designed in a one-to-one -one aspect ratio. Once you have successfully installed the plugin through the installer, you will find it in the Plugin Manager. There, you need to log in with your My Picture Instruments account, and if you have multiple licenses, select the license you want to activate on your computer. If you want to change the license later, you can deactivate it here and activate another one. If you don't have a My Picture Instruments account yet, you'll find all the necessary information in the email you automatically receive after purchase. Let's go back to Lightroom. By the way, I recommend first choosing which effects suit your selected image best by previewing them on Hover and then opening the plugin. Now you can access the plugin through Plugin Extras Overlay Effects or use the Ctrl-O shortcut directly on a Mac. Except for the shortcut function, which unfortunately isn't available on Windows, everything works the same on both operating systems. Your imported presets now appear in the plugin's drop-down menu. Lens Flare 16 looked quite good on this image, so I select this effect and apply it, after which it appears in the list of applied effects. You can see the effect on your image simultaneously. The plugin has automatically selected the best fitting aspect ratio adjustment mode for you. Most of the time, the adjustment mode chosen by the plugin works best, but you can also change it manually. To help you understand what the different options do, I've prepared a few sketches for you. The gray area represents your image, and the red frame symbolizes how the square overlay is adapted. Stretch does the same thing as Lightroom without the plugin. If you haven't loaded a square image, the aspect ratio of the effect changes. With all other modes, the aspect ratio of the overlay remains unchanged. Fit Long Side scales the overlay and aspect ratio to cover the entire image. As a result, some areas of the overlay may be in the non-visible area. Fit Short Side fits the overlay as best as possible into the image. To prevent seeing an abrupt cut off the edge of the light effect, the plugin mirrors the effect again at the cropped area and lets them fade out. You can control how soft the edge fades using the Feather Edges slider. If this creates a butterfly effect, I recommend moving or scaling the overlay instead. Fit Height scales the overlay to the height of your image, regardless of its format. Fit Width adjusts the overlay to the width of the image. You can align the overlay with the respective image edge using the arrow keys. Of course, you can only see changes if the effect does not already touch the image edge due to the adjustment mode. If the light is coming from the wrong direction, you can simply mirror the overlay here, either horizontally or vertically. By the way, after every change, except for the arrow keys, you need to click Apply Changes to apply your changes in Lightroom. If you want to further adjust the effect's positioning to match your subject better, you have four sliders available, Scale, Rotate, and Shift. If the edge of the overlay becomes visible, the plugin mirrors the effect here as well, 
and you can soften the edge using feather edges. If the overlay still looks a bit unnatural, you can reduce or enhance the effect. Depending on whether you prefer a warm look or want to keep the colors in the image more neutral, you can decrease the color temperature or retain the warm look of the overlay. If you want to combine multiple effects, you can simply select and add another overlay from the dropdown. It will appear here in the list and you can adjust it separately. By the way, the effects are always mirrored at their brush handle. So, if they are no longer correctly aligned after mirroring, you can simply use the arrow keys. You always adjust the overlay that you last activated in the list. If you like the combination of several overlays and want to use them more often, you can save them using one of the S buttons. At a later time, you can apply the saved combination along with all settings whenever you want and even adjust them again. Get creative and make your images shine.